Yo, what's going on everyone? Freaky299 here, and I'm back to deliver y'all a brand new build that is sure to shock your socks off. This Arc Warlock build turns you into a Thunder God that can shred any content you throw at it, including Master Nightfalls and Master Ghosts of the Deep. With our Arc buddy by our side, there's nothing we can't take down, and I've been taking it into Grandmasters Day 1, and it's proved pretty damn useful. Of course, with all my builds, there's a picture at the end of the video, along with a dim link in the description for easy copying. With that out of the way, let's jump into the subclass. Starting off with the subclass, I take Chaos Reach for my super for the ability to laser down champions that get stunned and on bosses when it's ready. It's got a short cooldown, so feel free to pop it whenever you get a stack of big targets that just need disintegrating. For our class ability, we're taking Healing Rift for that pure survivability as endgame content can get very dicey. We'll use our Rift to refresh our sentient Arc Soul timer and to give our allies Arc Souls for extra damage. For our melee, we're taking Ball of Lightning for the ability to take out enemies from a distance. We use it purely for damage, so fire away. For our grenade, we take Pulse Grenades as the damage they provide is godly. We get our grenades back really quickly, so after we consume it to get our sentient arc soul, we can toss them out. Champions and bosses get their health bar shredded with pulse nades. For our first aspect, we take Electrostatic Mind. Defeating targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates ionic traces. Collecting traces grants amplified on top of granting ability energy. This lets us generate tons of ionic traces and stay amplified almost permanently. For our second aspect, we take Arc Soul. Casting Rift generates an Arc Soul that fires at enemies. Allies get Arc Souls when passing through your Rift, and it regens faster as well. While amplified, the Arc Soul gets faster fire rate. We always consume our grenade to get a sentient Arc Soul, and then we can refresh the timer with a Rift cast. If you use Rift and then consume a grenade, you don't get the Sentient Arc Soul and have to wait that timer out to actually get the better version. For our fragments, we have Spark of Beacons. While amplified, Arc Special Final Blows create blinding explosions. These stun unstoppable champions and provide tons of crowd control. Blind is really strong still and can help out a lot in harder content. Next, Spark of Ions. Defeating Jolted Targets creates an Ionic Trace. This stacks with Electrostatic Mind, although they have separate cooldowns. But in essence, it's double the Ionic Trace spawns. Next, Spark of Resistance. While surrounded, we gain 40% damage resistance, just amazing for any piece of content. And finally, Spark of Shock. Our arc grenades jolt enemies, more jolting means more ionic traces, more damage, it's a win-win-win. And with the subclass all being assembled, we'll need some weapons to use, and what better than some killer arc weapons. Top of the list is Cold Heart. It's a special, so while amplified, our defeats blind surrounding enemies. We have Overload Trace Rifles, which overcharges for 25% in certain activities, and it generates a ton of Ionic Traces on top of everything we generate, leading to enormous amounts of ability regeneration. Another great arc special is Iterative Loop with Volt Shot, so you can apply Jolt to lots of enemies while clearing out bigger targets. And of course, Forbearance is an absolute beast in damage and ad clear, so it will, will always work great in an arc build. In Kinetic Slot, you can use something for Anti-Barrier, which is mostly be an auto rifle. Perpetualis is easy to get and strong, so that's a great choice. And for the Heavy, I used whatever the activity called for. Arc Machine Guns are rare, but if you have one and it puts in work, anything that can burst down champions and bosses is what you want to have. Of course, if you're running double special weapons, make sure to cycle back and forth between your special weapons for heavy ammo drops, and then swap to your heavy for special ammo drops. And with that, we have our weapons locked and loaded, let's get into the artifact now. Anti-barrier auto and overload trace rifle are must-haves. Authorized mods arc and melee allow us to run mods without worrying about the cost. Technicolor siphon is nice when running arc and strand weapons. Electric Armor, Amped Up, and Thunderous Retort all do amazing things for our Arc subclass. Overcharged Armory gives recent release weapons a 25% damage buff when the Overcharged Weapon modifier is active. Shock and Awe makes Arc Final Blows call Lightning Down that damage and jolt enemies, 
and finally lightning strikes twice so arc grenades regen faster after being thrown, the buff extends on arc final blows. And that's going to do it for the artifact, all we need to do now is build out our armor mods. Starting with our helmet, we have hands on and ashes to assets for bonus super energy on our ability takedowns, alongside dual current siphon so our arc and strand weapons generate orbs of power. For a stat distribution, we will be focusing resilience first for the 30% damage reduction. Next, we focus discipline so our grenade regens faster, and finally recovery so our health and rift regen faster. Moving down, we have the Exotic Gauntlet's Getaway Artist. Holding our grenade consumes it and summons a sentient arc soul for 20 seconds and makes us amplified. This buddy grants 5% grenade energy once per burst if it damages an enemy and can be refreshed by using our rift. Always consume your grenade to spawn your arc buddy as your rift doesn't make the better arc buddy. Only refresh your sentient arc soul with a rift when the timer gets low, but once you do, you can throw your grenades as normal. For the mods, we have firepower so our grenades create orbs of power. We also have bolstering detonation so grenades give 20% rift energy on damage as well as momentum transfer so grenade damage gives 20% melee energy. Down to the chest piece, of course we use two resistant mods for the current threat modifier alongside a third resist of your choice. The two resists give 25% damage resist and then the third one does a 15% damage resist. For our legs, I like to use one arc weapon surge for the 10% bonus arc weapon damage alongside an arc holster so our cold heart can auto reload while stowed. Then of course a recuperation for health on orb of power pickup. And finally down to the bond, we have bomber and outreach so on rift cast we get 20% grenade and melee energy alongside powerful attraction so we collect nearby orbs of power on rift cast which then give us that burst of healing from recuperation. And with that the mods are complete and the build is built. To use it effectively you gotta make sure to do these things. Always consume your grenade to spawn sentient arc soul. Once it's activated, keep it refreshed by using your rift cast whenever you see the timer get low. You can run in and out of the rift to refresh it back to 20 seconds, and you should always have a rift ready when the timer gets low. Since the buddy doesn't go away, we can always use our pulse grenades and ball of lightning purely for damage. A good tip is to always throw out your grenade and melee before using rift to ensure bomber and outreach don't go to waste. Coldheart is king in generating ionic traces, allowing for some serious ability spam and super regeneration. Make sure to keep Amplified up and use your healing rifts in harder content as well. The arc souls you give teammates can be really useful, especially in harder content, so don't be afraid to lay down your rifts in open spots so teammates can get to them easily. The damage resist we have stacked up means we can play more loosely as well as just have more fun with this build. It's an absolute joy to use this build and it's probably one of the best builds to be using this season with all the artifact perks available. Of course, here's a picture of the full build for easy reference and the dim link is down below. Thank you all so much for watching, I have been FreakyDude99 and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out everyone.